Hi guys, this is Yash from Unleash the Phones and I have here with me the Nokia Lumia 820, Nokia's Windows Phone 8 device. Now in this video I'm going to give you, a, give you a quick demo of the Facebook app and the Facebook features for Windows Phone 8. Uh, let's start with this is the lock screen support for the Facebook app from the Facebook app. I will get to this later but for now I'll just show you what all we have over here. We have uh, photos from the specific albums which I have chosen. So you have photos at the top, at the bottom uh, I have detailed expanded notifications uh, from Facebook and now I also as far as I remember I had also selected the notification icon for Facebook the short icon but we don't see that yet we'll get to that later now let's start with the live tile this is the large live tile for Facebook now by default uh, it shows you your cover photo and when you have notifications like I have right now it will also show you the notification. Let us now check out the medium tile. In medium view, yeah, that's it. It also shows you the notification, but there's no cover photo view over here. And in the small tile, as far as I remember, it only shows you a counter for your unread notifications or messages or unread friend requests. Now let's switch to the Facebook app. As you might have noticed, it opens up instantaneously. There's not really a long delay. I can show you that again. All right. So again, now there are two things. Uh, when you use the back button to exit the app uh, whatever windows phone considers exit this is the app opening uh, for the first time the fresh open and when you use the start key the app has only switched to the background and it will resume so that's how long it takes for this will be the fresh start now and this is supposed to be fast resume now i don't really uh, find a lot of difference between both of them so anyways we'll get to what the app is it is more or less uh, same as the windows phone 7 app except for a few uh, windows phone 8 editions the basic app is same you have your news feed uh, by default it is filtered by the most recent view but you can change that to photos videos uh, your groups or your lists whatever you want you can go through your list you can check out the statuses All right. um, now this is status with zero comments but two, pe uh, two people have liked it I can add my own comment or I can like it that's basic stuff uh, you swipe to this right and you have photos from your friends now i have never able, uh, been able to manage uh, to understand what on what basis uh, these six friends are chosen i guess these are the six recent photos which my friends have uploaded swipe again to the right and you have your uh, what would you call it your own view where you can view your pro profile your friends your messages your events you can search for places nearby to check in you can Check your groups, your pages, and your photos and notes. Now let's take a look at these notifications at the top. I have one hundred friend, uh, one friend request. I have one hundred message, and I have two notifications. You can click on that, and it will take you to your notifications. Now let's take a look at the options at the bottom. You have an option to add a status, update your status, you can take a photo and upload a photo. You can check into a location or you can refresh your feed. Now this is the updating, uh, this is how you can share a, share a, a status, share a post. 
Now uh, with the new update you have an option to select the privacy settings. The audience for your post, it can be everyone, it's, that means public, it can be only limited to your friends or it can be a personal post just for yourself or you can share it with your list. You can tag friends in your status now, you can check into a location or you can add a photo. So that's all the basic stuff covered. Let's go back to the app. These are the filtration for the news feed. Now we'll check out the settings. Not really much over here. Uh, how long do you want your cache, cache to expire in? Uh, these are the banner image. These are the photos at the top. It uh, shows you your own photos. And there's a feature called enable shake to refresh. You just think you just shake the phone to refresh your news feed and allow Facebook for Windows phone to access your location that's again basic uh, notifications you can choose whether you want uh, notifications as the pop-up toast at the top and the tile count or you want only tile count you can also disable notifications altogether if you want you can choose which notifications would you like to receive from the basic Facebook features and that's it for the general app settings now we'll take a look at the windows phone 8 specific features as you might be aware windows phone 8 has this uh, lock screen setting where an app can take over the lock screen and it can show you its own content on the lock screen so the facebook app uh, it can show you your photos as well as notifications on the lock screen Now, there you go. Sometimes the apps really take a long time to resume. So, I guess I'll have to exit the app and we will switch to it again. Yeah, this is a fresh start. I'll take it to the lock screen settings. So, like I was telling, you can either uh, have it show your photos from all the albums, or you can select albums which you would like to see the photos from. And you also have an option to see photos only of yourself. So, even if your friends have tagged you in photos, you'll be able to see the photos on the lock screen. So there are two view styles for the lock screen. You have the one which I have selected which shows you four photos as well as a bla blue background at the bottom so that it makes it easier to read the notifications. Or you can have a full page of photo. I guess it will take some time to refresh. But as you can see over here, this is how it would look. You have one photo and the entire lock screen and uh, just like the one over here you have your notification and the small notification icons at the bottom so that's it for Facebook for Windows Phone now you have an option to send and receive messages but there isn't an option to chat from within the app for that you have your <coughs> messaging hub on Facebook uh, on Windows Phone which has Facebook chat integrated. So that's it for Facebook for Windows Phone. Let me know if you have any questions and queries via comments and I'll try to answer them. Thank you for watching.